Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. To you, thus says the Lord God, read. A thing, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So whether you hear or whether you forbear, we're still going to teach the word of God. That's right! We, for they are a rebellious house, uh -huh. yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So whether you hear or you forbear, you will know that a prophet has been among you. That's right! So you love according to the Bible. Hey. So you need to stop hating yourself. Right. Stop hating your brother. Right. Stop hating your sister. Right. Understand? Love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Get me marriage. Because another way that we hate each other is calling out our sisters. Another way that we hate each other is we don't marry our sisters. We sleep around from woman to woman. Remember the scripture said, love is keeping the commandments. The commandments said, thou shalt not suffer sin upon thy neighbor. Read that. The bigger person. Chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. When we're sleeping around with our sisters, we're causing them to be whores. We're prostituting them. We're sleeping from one sister to another sister to another sister. That's not love. Keeping the commandments is love. What does the law say? Give me Exodus. What does the law say if you sleep with a woman? There's laws for these things. The Bible has a law for everything. It's the guidelines to our life, you understand? Do we follow this book? Remember the scripture said we will be above all nations. Read that. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man enticed a maid that is not betrothed, if you entice a maid that is not engaged, that is not married, read on. And lie with her, and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. That's how you stop pouring out your, daughter, your, your sisters, your daughter, the daughters of Israel. You understand? Read it again. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, so if you shut up a maid, meaning a woman, one of the daughters of Israel, read, and lie with her. And you lie with her. This is what our people do all the time. You are game on a woman, and then you take her home, you lie with her, then you delete her number. You don't want to know her again. Ain't that true, bro? That's what we do, isn't it? We go from woman to woman to woman, and we don't care what happens after. Read on. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. See, the Lord said no. Once you sleep with that woman, that is your wife. Right. You have to surely marry that woman. That solves the problem right there. No more fornication. No more whoring out your sisters. Right. When you live with her, that's your wife. You have to go and get married, you understand? Get me married. Married to woman. You shouldn't be scared to marry your sister. You shouldn't be scared to get married. The most I says that is honorable, you understand? That's right! Whoring out your sister is not honorable. That's not love according to the Bible. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is an honorable thing according to the Bible. Right. Read. In all. Come on. And the bed undefiled. The bed is undefiled. You and your wife can do whatever you want together. That's your wife. You understand? Read on. 
but whoremongers, whoremongers, and adulterers, and adulterers sleeping outside of your marriage or sleeping from woman to woman. Read. God will judge. God will judge you for sleeping around from woman to woman. You understand? He said marriage is honorable. The most I deal with marriage. Marriage is what builds a nation. Marriage is love because it's a commandment according to the Bible. Yes, Get me the, the judgment. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 61. There's a judgment for being a whoremonger. You understand? You're not just going to keep going woman to woman to woman and nothing's going to happen. You're not going to keep sleeping around and think that everything's going to be good. No. The most I will jack you up against you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Come on. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of his law, then will the Lord bring upon these until thou be destroyed. Every sickness and every plague. A sickness that's not in the Bible is familiar. A sickness that's not in the Bible is HIV. Right. A sickness that's not in the Bible is AIDS. Right. All of these things are people with the highest in. We have the highest percentage rate of these things. Why? Because the most high is jacking you up for it. You cannot go around sleeping from sister to sister to sister. You understand? When you come into the laws of God, you show your sister's love. You marry them. We always maybe a fornication once upon a time. But now coming to this knowledge, you got married, you understand? You have to get married according to the Bible. That's right! Get me... Get me... Go back to TV 30 for you. Go back to TV 30. So marriage is honourable according to the law. Marriage is honourable. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honourable in all. Marriage is honourable in all. Even certain of our elders, they've been married for 25 years. They're doing it the right way. But these, us nowadays, we don't know that. And it's time we just move around with girlfriends. Girlfriends are not in the Bible. That's right. You don't do girlfriends. If you sleep with that woman, you have to marry that sister. That's right. You have to get married. You can't change women in a year. You understand? There's no going from another woman. Once you leave her, that is your wife. That's right. You understand? Get me. Read that last one again about woman. But hormones. And adulterers, God will judge. God will judge whoremongers and adulterers. What's another form of adultery? We all know adultery is sleeping outside of your marriage. But this is another form of adultery. Give me Matthew 5. Matthew 5. Another form of adultery. We're going to read it now. Okay. It's not just sleeping outside of your marriage, you understand? There's more to it than that. Read that. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 38. Yes. No. Get me 27. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. Come on. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. So it was said in old time. Where was it said in old times in Exodus 2? Yeah. Sure, it was said in old time. But it's that the Bible, it says the same thing in the Old Testament and the New Testament. It doesn't change. It says the same thing from front to back. The most, the most I repeats himself because we're so ignorant to the truth. Read that. Exodus chapter 22. Exodus. The most I repeats himself constantly because he knows we are stiff necked people. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 14. Come on. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So this is where I said it all times. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And they have this up in the churches. They always have the Ten Commandments up in the churches. But they say the Old Testament is done away with. But that's, that's another thing. Read that. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. Come on. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. Come on. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So it was said in old times. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Sleep outside of your marriage. Read. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. So read that again. But I say unto you, but God say, Christ says unto you, read, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, if you look on a woman to lust after her, you stare at her, you're, you're thinking all manner of things in your heart, read, 
have committed adultery with her already in his heart. You've already committed adultery in your heart. You understand? What is your heart? Let's get that quick. You've already committed adultery in your heart. We're going to show you what the heart means according to the Bible. So if you're staring at a sister because she's got a nice shape or because she's got a nice face, you've already committed adultery in your heart. That's wrong. That's not love according to the Bible. Read up. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. So from the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. Where do you think from? Your mind. So your mind is your heart according to the Bible. Do you understand that, bro? Your mind is your heart according to the Bible. Look at this. You see something inside? Bro. I mean, I read up. Adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy. So these are all things that come out of our mind. We think these things. So show you that the heart is your mind. Things that pray, foolishness. All of these are thoughts. These are all thoughts in your head. And it's to go back to Matthew. Matthew. Chapter 5 and verse 28. Come on. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her. So when we look at a woman to lust after her, we want her, we just lust him. You understand? Know really? Have committed adultery with her already in his heart. So you already committed adultery with that woman. Because we're lusting after her. The Bible says if you sleep with that sister, that's your wife. But if you're lusting after her, just stand at her. You have no intention to marry her. You just want to get the goods. And then you want to go. You understand? But the Bible says you have to marry her. Get married again. Marriage is honorable. The Bible says you have to marry your sister. That is love according to the Bible. You understand? Keeping those commandments is love according to the Bible. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. What? Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. Not having girlfriends. Not having multiple partners. Marriage is honorable. I think they're pushing now is a living relationship. That's not what the Bible says. Right. Read that. Marriage is honorable in all. Well, and the bed undefiled. The bed is undefiled. You know what to do with work. But you have to marry that woman. Well, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Who will judge you for laying with sister, sister, sister. Because you're, you're calling them to sin. And yourself is in sin. You understand? Get me. Read that again. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So marriage is honorable according to the Lord. Get me in verse 2. Like I said, they're promoting this polygamy, having two wives, more than wives. Let's see what God says about that. Is that biblical? First Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. No, verse 2. First Timothy, chapter 3, and verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless. So a bishop is referring to a leader, but it's also you men. You men need to stand up, wake up, read. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife. One wife. You know this is the Bible. Did you know this is written in the Bible? This is in the Bible. Yes. Translation is in the Bible. Yes. You know this is the Bible? Yeah, it's true. Do you want to be 28? Do you want to be 28? Pardon? Yeah, we're going to read it. Start to finish. We're going to show you that slave is in the Bible. Where are you from? Nigeria. Where did that from? Okay, so you're from the tribe of Judah. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all of his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these persons shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses prophesied this to the Israelites, the people on his side. He said this from the child of Judah. That applies to your people, you understand? So we're going to prove that this is in the Bible. Give me verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord will bring 
the Israelites into Egypt again with shit. What's Egypt? Yeah, this is true. Because when we come out Egypt the first time, we walk, right? Israel, they come out Israel, they walk from Israel to Egypt. But I say they will come to Egypt again. So what's Egypt? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Well, well, out of the land of Egypt. He's going to tell you what Egypt is now. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So when you say you're going to Egypt again, it means bondage. What's the number one for bondage? Slave, right. Yeah, please read that again. 68. To the body in chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it says slavery again. With ships. With ships. With ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So the same way Moses prophesied it here. Thou shalt see it no more again. That's referring to a mother land, Jerusalem. Because our homeland is Jerusalem, you understand? He said you will not see it again. With in Israel, on the continent of Africa, yeah, but it's not Africa, you understand? The Africa was made after after a man, after Scipio, after Carlos, you understand? That continent is not called Africa, Greece. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for both men and both women. So you'll be sold unto your enemies. When you go off these ships, you'll be sold unto your enemies for both men and both women. As you can see, they're slave men and slave women in these pictures. Three. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. So this happened in the transatlantic slave trade and before that in the sub-Saharan slave trade. That's what this is. You understand? That's the sub-Saharan slave trade. That's when the so-called Arabs had us in slavery. You understand? That was before. Yes. That was before the transatlantic slave trade. Right. You used to scream black power while Heron was pushed But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.